One year has passed since the end of the great conflict between Dana and Rena. The two worlds have finally joined and literally merged into one. A single planet now exists, teeming with all six elements, as it always should have. But with a new world, comes a new set of problems. Unprepared for the changes thrust upon them, Danans and Renans now find themselves forced to live side by side. And though the initial chaos of the Great Convergence has faded, the people of this new world are realizing that some scars are not so easily healed. So, our journey continues. There she is! Don't let her get away! After her! Right. She's gone. There's no way. She's got to be nearby. Find her. The weather is so nice today. It's a shame we can't enjoy it with all these zoogles around. Stay alert, Xion. Danger could be lurking in the shadows. <laughs> I could say the same to you. If you get injured, it's going to hurt now, you know. So, the mausoleum is somewhere around here? That's what I heard. We'll have to get more details from Bayfon when we meet up with him in the city. I wonder if the others have already arrived in the Yes by now. It'll be good to see them again. It's been so long since we were all together. Hmm? Hey, you! Did you see a Renan brat around here? You're looking for a child? A Renan? Yeah, that's right. And get this. That kid is the daughter of a lord! A lord? Hey, wait a sec! That there on your back... Is that... No mistake, it is! You're THE Blazing Sword, aren't you? <sighs> oh, he is! Talk about lucky! Lucky? What do you mean? Even if she's just a kid, she's still the daughter of a Renan Lord. But if we've got you with us, we'll have nothing to fear. Sorry, but I can't help. Hey, you gotta be kidding me, man! She's a Lord's daughter! They're your enemy, right? <sighs> You're the Blazing Sword! It's just common sense that you'd help us! Come to think of it, rumor has it he's been traveling with some bright-eyes chick. Wait, is that why? And what if it is? Is that a problem? Forget about it. Let's get out of here. A 
Our Lord's daughter, huh? I wonder whose. Regardless of who it may be, it doesn't make chasing her down okay, now does it? You're right, of course. Let's go find her before anyone else does. This over with. Yeah, I'm worried about that girl. Swarm of blade! Down fall! Slash! Here I go! Here I come! One more! Strike! Blue Narongo! Mirage! They got fire! I've got this! Yeah. Let a marksman handle it! You're all yours! No escape! Beat to the punch. I may as well take the rest. Seems like I'm not needed. Then why don't you have it? Seed and relax. No way. I'm Reload. not done. Mega Reload. By the power of water. Sonic thrust. Pierce through. Sonic thrust. By the power of Pierce water. through. Do it. Do it. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to hurt you, okay? <clears throat> You're the daughter of a lord, aren't you? <sighs> you can relax. We'd heard people were after you. Sort of, Anna? Is there any way we can help you? Why? What do you mean? You're being chased, aren't you? I'm fine. Don't worry. Okay, but... It's dangerous to be out here all alone. Won't you at least come with us to Nias? That's where I got kicked out of. Bayfon should be in Nies, right? I want to know what's going on. If you come with us, I'm sure we can get this straightened out. If we go our separate ways, we won't cause each other any problems. Problems? What kind of problems? Why? We just want to help. Isn't that enough? We help people. It's who we are. You may think we're weird, but it's true. I'm Shion. This is Alfin. Nazamil. Nazamil. Is that your name? Uh, hey. We're going to Niaz, aren't we? Uh, right. Nice to meet you, Nazamil.
driving out a child just because she's Renan? Racial tensions still run deep here, but that doesn't mean we're giving up, right? Right. Of course. What's this thing? What happened in Yez, Nazmiel? Don't worry. You don't have to tell us if you don't want to. Both looking well. Never been better. Well, just talking about us, though. There's apparently some trouble in town. Kisara, Dohalim. The gang's all here. So, what's this trouble you mentioned? Renans have returned to the city. Living alongside the Danans here. There were a lot of vacant houses after the mess with Almadria, right? Some refugees from Lenegas have taken up residence in them. 
Bayfon decided to take them in. But not everyone has been so welcoming. That's putting it lightly. The situation's a bit of a powder keg. The smallest spark could set it off. So Renans do live here. If that's the case, then why... Oh! Who's that? This? This is Nazamil. I'm Rinwell. And this here is Hoodle. Nice to meet ya. Woo! Some Danans from around here are after her. Because her father is a lord. A lord? I see. So she draws more attention than your average Renan, then. We've brought her along so we can at least figure out what's going on. Plus, there's the mausoleum issue. Let's go see Bayfon. You see, we were actually just there, but he's out and we couldn't meet with him. Then, for now, how about we take Nazamil to the area where the Renans live? Huh, not a bad idea. You okay with that, Nazamil? <sighs> hmm? I'm Law. Nice to meet you, Nazamil. I'm Kisara. I hope you'll feel free to talk to me anytime. I am Dohilim Il Kalis. Pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Dohilim? The Lord? Former Lord. These. It's good to see you guys, but with the city being so on edge, it's hard to relax. The Renans and Danans here don't trust each other. This place is a far cry from Vicent. What about Pelegian? You took in most of the refugees from Lenigus, didn't you? I've settled them on different levels of the city, so contact between the two cultures is minimal. Better to gather all the Renans in one place to avoid unnecessary conflicts, huh? 
And with the Lord guy here in charge, no one can do anything too crazy. Come on. He's carrying out his duties as the Renin representative. But if that's true, are you sure it's okay to leave the city? Fortunately, I have people there I can rely on. Leaving for a short while shouldn't be a problem. And Kisara, you're the captain of those new troops in Vicent, right? That's right. The Service Corps. We're made up of former members of the Guard and armored soldiers. We serve as the people's shield in the new era. I'm not used to teaching so many new recruits, but I'm managing somehow. Rinwell, you're in Vicent too, aren't you? Is your nose still stuck in a book all the time? Uh, yep. There are too many books to read, so I always end up cooped up at home. Hey, you go out sometimes. Like when you're investigating the ruins. You seem to know a lot about it. Oh, uh, not really. It's just that sometimes I guard caravans as part of the Crimson Crows, you know? So whenever I stop by Vicent, I pop in to help with stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, what have you been up to, Alfin? Are you and Xion still traveling around as usual? Yeah. I don't feel ready to settle down in one place just yet. Xion? Sorry. It's been a while, but it doesn't feel like anyone's changed, you know? You're right. It really feels like the old days. <sighs> I know we've got a lot of catching up to do, but Nazamil must be getting bored by now. You're right. Sorry, Nazamil. I don't mind. I wonder what the Renans here were doing when Nazamil was being chased down. She doesn't didn't seem too excited to see them. You think they had something to do with it? I'm not sure. It's possible. Nazamil? What are you doing back here? Away with you! You don't belong here. How many times do we have to say it? How could you say such a thing? She's a Renin just like you, and a child at that. Hmm. If it isn't the Blazing Sword, the very person who destroyed our society, you're one to talk. You Renins value lineage and social standing, don't you? Nazamil is the daughter of a lord. Her father was a lord, yes. He was the esteemed Lord Urwagil Hildris, the former water lord. Urwagil, the lord who preceded Volron. But that girl's mother is just some embedded nobody! <laughs> Her mother is a Danon? The blood of a glorious lord mixed with that of a lowly slave. It's repugnant. That girl is no Renan. Every one of us here agrees on that. Hey! <sighs> Bastards just spewed their hatred and left. A child with both Danon and Renan blood. Is that even possible? In the old world, I'd heard rumors that it happened on rare occasions. Not of any children that reached her age. You knew this would happen, didn't you? Why didn't you say something, even though you knew it would be painful? It was too much to explain, and I'm in no pain. But it's wrong to judge someone because of how they were born. <laughs> Let's go back to look for Bayfon. It's better than staying here. You said you weren't in any pain, but is that really true? Why do you ask? Is it possible you just got used to the pain? I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> you
Yeah. Fun. Well, look who it is. It's been a while, hasn't it? Huh? Nazamil. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. So, some of the refugees we took in from Lenigus knew of Nazamil's identity, huh? The situation in Niez is delicate, to say the least. So I thought it would be better if I sent her to the Sint. I guess some unhappy residents went after her before she could make it there. Yeah. That's why I went looking for her as soon as I found out. It's fortunate that you found her first. I would just send her off on her way, but she may be attacked again. Yes, that is true. However, it would be just as dangerous for her to stay here, too. Well, okay then. Why don't we escort her to Vicente ourselves? But what about while we're at the mausoleum? Things being as they are, she can't just wait around here. <laughs> or we could take her with us to the mausoleum. It's dangerous to send her off, and it's dangerous for her to stay. She'll be safest with us there to protect her. I'm fine with protecting her, but... Doesn't the mausoleum have its own dangers? You're right, that is a concern. However, with all of us there, I think we'll be okay. Sounds good to me! After all, it's better to stick together than split up. We can head back to Vicent after we finished at the mausoleum. Is that okay with you, Nazamil? Sure. Just where is the mausoleum anyway? In the ruins at Adan Lake. It's pretty deep in, so you'll need to be cautious. It's easy to forget in Menencia, but the enmity between Dan... Yeah! Huh? Hey! All right! Just a minute. Say what?! Just great. Yeah! The smallest spark could set these Danons and Renans against each other. Glad we managed to extinguish this one early. Just thinking about how tense the situation is makes me anxious. It is a deep... ...brooded issue that will not easily be solved. True. It will need to be dealt with eventually. And we have to do whatever we can to see it through.
okay. Hmm? Don Lake? Gonna be tricky with all those giant zoogles running around. Oh? I would have assumed you'd be itching for an excuse to fight them. Well, you know, I'm a bit more of a grown-up now. I don't think that's something actual grown-ups say. in trouble here. Well, let's see what they have to say. They say the mausoleum is deep inside the Adon Lake ruins. Stay close, Nasamil. I'll be fine. Should this really be here? You can ask us anything you want to know, okay? <laughs> the mausoleum is just up ahead, huh? Careful. There might be Zoogles around, so... Uh... What? Oh, that wasn't you? Then... Are you hungry? No, I... I that wasn't... <laughs> It's perfectly normal for your stomach to growl when you're hungry. It's nothing to be ashamed or embarrassed about. As long as it's not you, I guess. What was that? N nothing. It's not a good idea to take on a mausoleum on an empty stomach. Why don't we eat first? Great idea, Alfin. Oh, it's been a while since I last had Kisara's cooking. We're not putting it all on Kisara. We're going to cook together. Really, I'm not... It seems everyone's in the mood to cook. If it's not too much trouble, we'd love for you to join us. Mm. I had an idea for something we could make with what we have on hand, but it looks like I'm still short on a few ingredients. Luckily, I think we can find them around here. No problem. Let's start looking. Nazamil, do you have any foods you particularly like or dislike? Um... Not really. Nothing in particular? That would make you a lot easier to deal with than a certain somebody. Hey! Don't act like I'm a picky eater! No one said she was talking about you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Play nice with Hoodle, okay, Nazamil? Has he always been your pet? We've been together for years now. But he's more like family than a pet. Family? It's been a while since we all ate together. I'm looking forward to this. That's fine. Just don't make anything spicy. I know, I know. Hey, isn't that what we're looking for? Oh, wait. It's right here. What's this thing? Well, that's strange. I wasn't expecting us to find a teleporter while looking for ingredients. I wonder where it leads. Regrettably, it looks like this one's target coordinates were never set. Until someone enters a destination, it's useless. Hmm. It's weird to find a teleporter out on its own like this. <laughs> Nazumil, everything okay? What is that? Some kind of decoration? Looks like a Danon relic. This is a land full of ruins, so it's not at all unusual. That looks familiar for some reason. I'm sure I've seen it before. Hmm. That's right! It's a good luck charm! I saw an illustration in an old book once. Does it have some kind of special power? Nah, nothing like that. This is the sort of thing you give to your family, or someone special, so you can feel connected with them, no matter how far apart you may be. I guess the way people express their feelings is the same now as it was back then. I don't need it. I don't have anyone like that. 
Well, in that case, can I hold on to it then? Sure, I don't care. Okay. Why don't we head for the campsite and start cooking? We've got all the ingredients, so now it's time to show everyone what I can do. Isn't this exciting, Nazamil? Huh? If you listen closely, you can hear the wind howl through the valley. The sound is... Done. This is sure to give the others some much needed energy. I'm stuffed. It's nice eating with everyone like this, don't you think? Indeed. It feels so liberating to relax under this beautiful sky. Moments like these are priceless. Especially given how much you've been cooped up in your office lately. You've earned a break. Hey, you okay? You don't look too good. Are you feeling sick? I'm fine. It's just that it's a little uncomfortable. I've almost never eaten with others. Oh, because both Danans and Renans... Well, what about your family? I don't know anything about my mother. I've never met her. What about your father? My father would only visit when he needed me for something. And when he did, he would yell and beat me. The other members of my house did the same. Wh what? So no, we didn't share meals. Well then, I guess that makes us the first. Huh? Let me tell you a secret. You see, when you eat with people you're close to, it always makes food taste that much better. Why is that? Hmm, that's a good question. I suppose it's because when we share the same food, we're also sharing the joy of it. Not only that, conversations are more lively when you're eating good food, too. Food tastes better when it's shared. There's more to a meal than simply filling your stomach. And knowing that is part of what motivates people to cook a good meal. Um... Mm -hmm. The food was really good. <laughs> Let's eat together again, okay? Mm. Our bellies are full, so now let's burn off those calories by finding the mausoleum. Uh, take this seriously, would you? Nazamil's going to get tired of your stupid jokes. Jeez, I wasn't even joking. <laughs> I noticed while we were eating that you have really good table manners, Nazamil. Is that something you were taught on Lenigus? Yes. I had to memorize everything. I'd get hit if I made a mistake. Oh. Can I ask you something? Of course. Ask us anything. What I am. It doesn't bother you at all? What, the thing about your parents? I mean, sure, it was a little surprising, but we're not really ones to talk when it comes to being unusual. He's right. We are a rather strange group, all things told. Exactly. For example, I'm Danin. But I'm also part of a mage clan that can use astral arts. Dohalim here is a Renan lord who prefers poetry over power. So, is that why you're with the Blazing Sword? With Elfin? Because you're different from others? I suppose I appreciate how he embraces our eclectic natures. But that is not the only reason. We all have our differences, big or small. The question is, how we look at those differences. What about Elfin and Xion? In terms of different, those two are in a class all of their own. They're especially unique. But in the end, we see each other as fellow human beings. And when it comes down to it, all our differences are insignificant compared to that. In other words, the way we see it, you're really not that different from the rest of us, Nazamil. So I'm sure we can be friends. <laughs> friends? Yeah.
That's not your run-of-the-mill enemy. Think we can take that thing? No way. Forget about it. People lived here long ago. What's wrong? Having someone to share my thoughts with it is strange. Here it is. Payphone was right. This is a mausoleum? Yeah, that's what we call them. They were originally built on Rena. And now they're here, since Dana and Rena fused together a year ago. Most of them are underground, but sometimes you can find one above the surface, like this. We got back together so we could deal with them. We don't know what kind of machines or zoogles might be inside. Make sure you stay close to us. Okay, got it. It doesn't look like anyone's gone up ahead. Then let's go. Stay close to us now. Meal that reminds me of Doholi. She's elegant. Yes, exactly. My family was strict about manners. N no surprise there. Your father being a lord. La, you can be so insensitive sometimes. I don't mind. My house is gone now anyway. That was back on Lenegas, right? When did you come down to Dana? When my father joined the crown contest as a lord, we came down together. Oh, yeah. Ganeth Harrow's, right? But didn't Voron... Why are you asking, anyway? Why? The more we know about each other, the quicker we can become friends, right? Is that how all of you became friends? I suppose so. Getting to know each other is an important step in learning to understand one another. It can be difficult to trust a stranger, but once you understand them better, you can move toward becoming friends. Still, why don't we change the topic to something more cheerful? I... don't know any cheerful topics. Don't wander off ahead of the group, Nazamil. Right. I got it. I guess she's not scared. And here I thought that Zugal in the outer mausoleum was pretty rare. In a sense, it is fortunate this place cannot be destroyed using our current technology. Indeed. Considering the amount of advanced technology within these mausoleums, many would want a piece of it for themselves. to these Helgan Quill structures. Helgan Quill? Yes, the true natives of the planet Rena. The ones who built all this. Uh. <sighs> you know, Nazamil sure is fearless. Now that you mention it, she is, isn't she? Maybe she's stronger than she looks. Can I ask you something? <laughs> you don't have to ask that every time. What is it? What kind of place is this mausoleum? Well, it seems like it was originally supposed to help delay the collapse of Rena by controlling astral energy. 
but it's still operating, and that's not good. Astral energy in this world is now composed of six elements, after Rena and Dana became one. Just like it was supposed to be from the very beginning. But before they merged, Dana had only five elements. Currently, the balance of energy is still shifting to achieve equilibrium. We believe these mausoleums are interfering with the flow of astral energy, preventing that balance. So, we decided it's better to disable them. So having six elements... is normal? Right. But something went wrong a long time ago, and they were divided. Rena got all the dark astral energy, and Dana got the light. When I was small, my father told me that I have all six elements, so it was my duty to master them. Undoubtedly, it's due to you having both Renan and Dan in blood. In a way, you're a herald of a new era. Is something wrong? No. For a moment I was just worried you were going to say something like, What a fascinating specimen. Sorry. Ah. And here I thought I was getting better at reading the room. Uh, anyway, this new world of ours needs all six elements in proper balance. So we're shutting down the mausoleums to help that happen. So six elements are part of a new era. I never thought of it like that before. Renan and Danon. All six elements. Nazamil contains everything of this world inside her. Now that our worlds have become one, it might not be such a rare thing in the future. It is certainly possible. Perhaps someday those of us with only five elements will be seen as the old generation. together like this makes me feel like we're back in the old days. The old days? It hasn't been that long, has it? Although, well, I'm glad to hear that what you consider the old days is the present day here with us. You look like you're having a hard time. I'm a little out of shape. I haven't left the library much recently. side of that door. How do you know that? Um, it's just something you sort of pick up. The design of the door, I guess? In other words, it's nothing more than a hunch. Lightning Tiger Blade! Enemies incoming! Rendon will 
are you ready? Yeah. Of course. Eat I her. won't let them need any more after our Right. Leave the protection to me and show them everything you've got. Do it! Fly! Demons descend! Flashing fang! Flash! Rising charge like that could easily be fatal. Just as well, I'm here to stop. Will this help? These fists have got your name on them! Here's a healing arc! You'll pay for that! To go. Come on, one final push. Let's do this together. Take this. Holy Sonic Thrust. Rising Lightning. You're really, really strong, Alvin. Here's I'm just trying to do the best I can. Still, he's reassuring to have you around. These little ones are hard to work our time. Less talking. Look sharp. Lightning Tiger Blade. As usual, it's full of machines that do who knows what. Their production's a foreign technology, every one of them. Trying to divine their purpose would be a fool's errand. Hmm. I'd recommend against touching them, Nazumil. Nasamil? <sighs> A crest? Nasamil, is that? No, it's. it's not what you think. <laughs> She vanished! Nazamil! Wait! Nazamil! Where are you? A crest appears, then she disappears. Just who the hell is she? We can discuss that later. First, we need to find her. Nazamil's crest. Do you think it's... Yeah. It looks similar to the Sovereign and Maiden crests. Her parentage alone wouldn't be enough to explain this. You don't... think she's also... Another door. It'd be nice to find Nazamil on the other side. I hope she's safe. Nasumil! <sighs> Helganquil! It's all right. They haven't woken. These are the Helganquil. The true people of Rena. They're sometimes discovered like this. I suppose that's why these places are called mausoleums. Why did you run off? It's dangerous to be in here all by yourself. I... I... K! 
careful! Something's coming! Well, guess we aren't getting out of this one. No one appreciates a rude awakening. Uh, don't you think this ruckus is way more of a nuisance? Holy Lamp! Here it goes! Burning this! Water! Here my Rising wipers! Spread! Confiscated! Here it goes! Burning this! The flame and the dragon are yours to be let free! Here it goes! Illuminate the dark! Come forth! Sonic thrust! Rising wipers! Holy Lamp! Start up! Throw away! I never miss! Sonic thrust! My astrolite is ready! Rising wipers! All good things! Here it goes! Sonic thrust! There you go! Don't let up! Now we're not I'm on it. Here I come! Strike! Strike! Just finish! Now take this! You guys... I'm not done! Rising Wyvern! I'm not my fighter. I'll bring you back from Death's Abyss! In a bind? I owe you one. Burning Strike! Hear my call! Sonic Thrust! Rising Wyvern! Drush! Water! Here I come! Here I come! Burning Take this! I'll bring you back from Death's Abyss! The flame inside me yearns to be let free! Resuscitation! Here's the healing arc! Drush! First aid! Now I can keep at it! I didn't heal you just so you can get hurt again. I know, I know. Stay there, Natsumil. Don't move. Stay put. Uh, I... I... You guys are dead! Oh, oh now you're talking! Be in the wind! You're finished! I'm out of ammo! Yeah, you're out of ammo! Take this! Wait, you gotta get it! Leave now! Sorry. And again! Everyone. Magnum! Don't be a bad foreigner! Magnum! Oh, it's four! I'll bring you back to the war! It was nice while it lasted. Resuscitate! Oh, Here, it? let me help. I almost did. I'll smash you! Here I come! I'm on it! I'll bring you back to the back of this. Wait! Let's get started! Resuscitate! Take this! That's gonna come on. Finish this! Eat this! Look, Look, Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Here, let me help! Rising Wyvern! Air Strike! Luna Rondo! I can do this! Helen Halton, if you hear it now! Stopped. I think that should be the last of them. <sighs> Nazamil. <laughs> Please don't run off again. <sighs> that crest earlier. Was that? Was that why you ran? Because you were afraid? I hate everything about it. Uh -huh. 
because I'm not a Renan. I'm not a Danon. Everyone has always said that I'm not normal. And now I've been taken to this weird place. And my body's become even more unnatural. Next you'll all probably toss me aside. <clears throat> I know that everyone hates me. People always have. Even my own father hates me. Everyone! I'm different from everyone! I just don't fit in anywhere! Nozomil! forced upon me. I've lost so much because of it. Just like you. But even so, I have friends who accept me. <laughs> and one thing I'm certain of, they'll accept you too. If you want them to. I... I... But I... <laughs> you are an aberration. As you are now, you're a worthless child. If you don't like it, try being of use for once. Go back, Nazamil. I told you, didn't I? When it comes to this group, we're all just a bunch of oddballs. <laughs> <laughs> Before we leave, let's finish what we came here to do. What's that? Sealing the door to this room. There. That should do it. What did you do? We disabled the main function so no one else can enter. We wouldn't want any miscreants getting in and causing mischief. What about the Helganquil? They will continue to sleep safely. We only disabled the functions of the mausoleum itself. Do you guys always do stuff like this? When we find mausoleums, yeah. There should be a facility somewhere that oversees all the mausoleums, though. Until we can locate it, this is what we have to do. Shion and I are capable of sealing the mausoleums. The problem is, they tend to be nothing but zoogles inside and out. Besides, considering the current state of the world, it's too soon to get other people involved, or to let word of the mausoleum spread too far. That's why every time a mausoleum is found, we all gather and take care of it on our own. Yup. And I'll take any excuse to get everyone back together again. I see. We're all done here. So let's head back to Niez and report to Bayfon. So you and Xion are the only ones who can seal the mausoleums? Yes, but it's also our way of setting things right. After all, we're somewhat responsible for the worlds converging in the first place. Sovereign outfit. That's some high-class gear, isn't it? 
It's at Doc's with Xion's outfit. It, um, stands out too much. I admit, I fail to see how your current attire does so any less. Is it difficult to be seen as a hero? I don't like being called the Blazing Sword. Really? Yeah. Danons and Renans make all kinds of assumptions just from that name. It doesn't feel good to be judged by people I've never even met. Yeah. Although I do admit it's a contradiction for me to say that while carrying around the very sword that gave me that name. Perhaps. However, we need the sword to accomplish our current task. That's why you restored it with the Sovereign's powers, correct? <laughs> You're right. It was necessary. They might say something to you again in ES, but we won't be staying long, so hang in there just for a little bit, okay? I'll be fine. You don't need to worry. It's one enormous stray. I don't think we can take it right now. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get... ...get here faster. Nasamil, there's something I need to apologize for. Apologize to me? Why? It's probably my fault that you were a test subject at Lenigus. Alfin, wait a second. What do you mean? The ones who experimented on the two of you did so for their own purposes. Dohalim. I understand how you feel, but there's no need to phrase things in such a misleading manner. Can you please explain? I want to know. It all started a long time ago, as Rena's great spirit wanted to absorb Dana's astral energy. Lenigus was created for that purpose, and the Sovereign was one of its parts. Alfin escaped, but the great spirit needed a replacement to achieve its plan. So they took me? Yes. A lot of people were experimented on. You were one of them. Your crest was incomplete. Perhaps your modifications were not completely finished. Because of Volron. Because he was completed first. One year ago, we may have met Nazamil in a different manner. I don't know why they let you go, but we can thank that for allowing us to encounter one another. And you, Xion? Mine was inherited. It was one of my ancestors who underwent modification. So in a way, you being taken was a result of my actions. I'm sorry, Nazamil. It's okay. You don't have to be. You didn't wish for it. And I'm no different from you. Besides, I didn't lose anything by being a test subject. And more than that, it makes me happy to know that there are other people like me. Nazami. Bayfon should be in the Dark Wings headquarters.
Looks like you took care of everything. As impressive as ever. Any updates on the situation in town? Yeah, but nothing good. There's no end to the people looking to stir up trouble here. Both Denons and Renans alike. Yeah, to be honest, sometimes I wonder if taking in those Renan refugees was the right... No, I can't go thinking like that. Regardless of the difficulties, I want to believe that your decision to not turn the Renans away was the correct one. I want to as well. But at any rate, Nazamil shouldn't stay here. It isn't safe for her. Not that it's her fault, but... Sorry, Nazamil. It's fine, don't worry. Thanks, Bayfon. Alright, everyone. Let's head to Vicent. Please don't blame... We've arrived. This is Vicent, where Danans and Renans live as equals. Equals? Even me? Yes. I personally guarantee it. I know it's hard to believe after Nies. We felt the same way when we first arrived. It may do you some good to observe the city while we're on our way to visit Drashen. Who's that? He looks after everyone who just moved here. He'll help with all the procedures you need to go through. <sighs> you might as well check the place out. You can decide whether to live here after that. Okay. Is it your first time in Vicent, Nazamil? Yes. I always try to avoid getting too close to cities. Then how'd you end up in the S? I happened to be nearby when the worlds merged. I didn't know what was happening, so I fled there for shelter. Nervous Horn! What do we stand for? One, our ideal of coexistence! Two, being the citizen shield! It's true! This really is a masterpiece! How come you're able to live together? Huh? Why wouldn't we? Because Brennans and Danans are so different. Well, we do have our differences. I can use astral arts, for example, while he, as a Danon, cannot. But my friend here can move much faster than me, and he has a splendid singing voice. Well, your sculptures are beautiful enough to adorn the palace. There's more to appreciate in our differences than find fault in. Plus, differences in our individual abilities mean little in the course of day-to-day -day life. I... I don't understand. Well, we certainly take a different approach around here. I could see it being confusing if you're not used to it. It looks to me like you're friends with Lord Dohalim. Maybe you could talk to him as well. Lord Dohalim is the only reason we're able to live like this in the first place. It's all thanks to him. Really? That is what they say. What do you think, Nazimil? Are you starting to see how things work around here? I can see that Renans and Danans get along with each other, even if I still don't understand why.
Doesn't seem like Drashen is this way. Could you see yourself living here? Yeah. I think I'd feel safe here. Good. Then all that's left is to meet with Drashen. Lord Dohalim, and the rest of our heroes. If you'd given me more warning, I'd have prepared a better welcome. That is not necessary. I no longer rule Menencia, after all. More importantly, we have a request. I'd be happy to do anything in my power, of course. This is Nazamil. We'd like you to arrange for her to be able to live here. Understood. Aren't you going to ask if I'm Renan or Danan? They'll ask during the formal procedures. Not that it matters much. There is one thing that matters, however. Whether or not you agree with this realm's ideals. Well, what do you say? Can you interact with those different from yourself without prejudice? I'm not sure yet, but I think it's nice that the Renans and Danans here don't fight. That's good enough for me. There is a screening process, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Recently, many Danans and Renans have tried to move here for our realm's abundance, yet they take issue with our principle of coexistence. That's why I'm more than prepared to defend our ideals. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. A room at Ottolina Palace will be provided until she has her official residence. At the palace? Not at the inn? It's a good way to make use of our many spacious rooms. The palace is now public property, after all. We'll show her the way there. I appreciate that. Oh, by the way, Lagiel was wondering when you'd be coming back. Lagiel? Understood. I'll go check on her later. Don't Alfin and the others also live here? Only Kisara and Rinwell at the moment. Alfin and Shion are always traveling. Oh, I see. What is it, Nazimil? Nothing. Sara and Dohali, living together in the palace, huh? I myself am simply being provided a room. By who? Kisara? <coughs> What did you just say? palace when you want to kill some time. Hmm. I suppose you could read a book in the library. Or compose a poem, perhaps. That can really make the hours fly by. How about going to the courtyard? It'll be easier that way if someone comes calling.
I feel like somebody's watching us. So, you like that flower, huh? The Rose of Unity. It's said to be a symbol of Rena and Dana becoming one. Is that why you like it? It's a flower that's neither Renan nor Danan. I guess it reminds me of myself. And yet, it grows everywhere. How can you be so calm about everything, Elfin? What? You mean about being the Sovereign? When I was in Nies... No, not just then. In other places, too. I heard that the Blazing Sword is Rena's enemy. It's Destroyer. Ganons think so, too. They look at you differently. Like you're something apart from them. How can you be okay with all that? It's not like I don't have feelings. Nazimil, are you scared of me? It's true that together we did overthrow Renan rule. But we didn't do so out of malice, or because we were trying to hurt people. Please believe that. I do. From the very beginning, when we first met, both of you have tried to help me. The daughter of a lord? Half Danon? A test subject? Finding out more about who I am didn't change anything in your eyes. You still protected me without prejudice. It was the first time I experienced that, and it was... nice. So because of that... I, um... I wanted to say... Um... Thank you. I should be the one thanking you. Huh? I didn't want anyone to get unfairly hurt. And when it seemed like they would, I vowed to use all my power to protect them. That's what I've been fighting for. So in the end, hearing your view on things makes it all feel worthwhile. Thank you. We can't always have our actions understood by others, even when we believe we're doing the right thing. What you said... 
is very encouraging. People tend to judge others based on birth or background rather than what they've actually done. Everyone has their own assumptions. Though the world has changed, people's hearts and minds don't change so easily. Even so, I... What should I do? I... I want... I want to help you, Elfin. I want to be useful. What should I do? Oh. That's, um... Hey, you guys! The room's ready! Uh... Right. Got it. Let's go. We can discuss this more later. Um... Okay. Well, let's head to your room. You can stay as long as you want, Nazanil. No one will bother you here. Right. It's a pretty over-the-top name for a flower when you stop and think about it. I believe Dohoim is the one who came up with the name. The flower appeared after the merging of the worlds. could serve as a symbol of reconciliation. Until we find an official residence for you, this will be your home, Nazamil. Yes, this is where we say goodbye then. It won't be the same without you. We'll be sure to stop by when we're in Vicente. Okay. Nazumil, we have something for you. This is the charm from the ruins? That's right. The good luck charm you give to someone special. <laughs> we all helped fix it up a little. I know you said you don't have anyone special, but you're special to all of us. We thought this could be a reminder when you need it. <sighs> but I... Really? Of course. Think of it as a sign of our friendship. A promise that we'll meet again. Basically, we're friends now. Friends. My very own... friends. Just like me. It looks good on you. <sighs> Thank you. We'll see you soon, Azamil. Okay. I'm happy that things worked out for Nazamil. Yeah, I'm glad there's a place like Vicent where she can feel safe. Everything turned out all right. Indeed. I suppose our meeting was serendipity. Wasn't Lagiel that lady from the Gold Dust Cats? She's a member of the Service Corps now, just like me. If she's looking for me... Hisora! I'm so glad you're back. We could use your help. Something wrong, Lagiel? Yeah, a Zoogle. It's been attacking Faria Ranch. The ranch? That's quite a serious problem. It is? As you are already aware, the balance of the astral energy in each region has been equalizing. 
ever since the merging of the twin worlds. As a side effect, harvests in Menencia have been on the decline. That means any problems with food production can easily lead to crisis. In other words, you're saying it's vital to protect the fields and the ranch, right? Wait, what about the Service Corps? Isn't it their duty to take care of Zoogles? Oh, we've tried. Many times. But somehow, each time we get overpowered. That's why I'm coming to you for help, Kisara. Understood. Tell the Corps I'll take care of it. While I'm away, you all stay in the city and... You really can't break old habits, can you? Rely more on those around you. But this is... We need to make extra sure that the food resources are safe. That's all the motive we need. Come on, Kisara. Uh, thanks. Be careful. That Zoogle really does pop up out of nowhere. Merging of the twin worlds left Zoogles scattered all over. This has caused. <laughs> no end of trouble. I wonder why Renan's lost the ability to control them. In hindsight, our control was likely only made possible by Lenigus. Huh? What is it, Law? Uh, I. <laughs> Law? Shh. I hear something moving. What is it? Zoogles? Couldn't it be just a mouse or something? I don't think so, but I'm not sure what it is. Let's flush it out by force! Wait! <laughs> Nazamil? You followed us? Did something happen in the city? No, I just didn't want to be left there. Are you saying you'd rather live on your own outdoors than in a city? It's not that. I just... You want to come with us, don't you? Yes. All right. <laughs> Are you sure about this? After all, it's not like we'll never see each other again. And it's so much safer in Besit. That's true, but... We all know the pain of being alone, don't we? Well, yeah, but... She does have the ability to disappear at will. If something happens, she can use that to hide herself. Can you promise you'll do that, Nazamil? Yes, I promise. Then it's decided. Haven't been to the ranch in a while. Wonder if they're all doing... ...doing okay. So, you like animals? Like isn't the right word. They're his best friends. They are... Not! Well, look who it is. Ain't seen you around here in a spell. Especially you, boy. Why don't you come around more often? Cause I'm busy, okay? But we're here for a reason. We heard a Zoogle has been attacking your livestock. Oh, so you're taking over for the Service Corps, then? Why did you say so? Hmm? I can't say I recognize you, young lady. You look pretty young for a Service Corps member. That's because she's not in the Service Corps. She's our new friend. Your animals were attacked? Yes, that's right. They may just be animals, but they're my animals, and I take good care of them. But that darn Zugo won't leave the poor things be. <sighs> and just what kind of Zugo is it? No clue. You don't know? I know it's a Zugo because of the tracks, but even though it got a handful of my animals, I ain't actually seen it yet. 
I even come a running as soon as I hear a commotion, but still ain't laid eyes on the beastie. It don't make a lick of sense. Never would have guessed the old guy'd just throw himself into danger like that. It keeps coming back. So I figure it must live somewhere nearby here. Okay. We'll check around the roads. Do you like animals too, Nazamil? Yeah. Animals... Don't say mean things, or throw rocks like people do. Ugh. Let me know if you find any trampled grass or scraps of half-eaten food. What about this? Doesn't match up with the prince at the ranch. Must be a different Zugu. It's the wrong shape. Not fresh either. Huh. They all look the same to me. Huh? What was that? What about this one? Or maybe not. No, wait. These match the ones at the ranch. So that means... Yep, we're close. What's this thing? We can't seem to find it anywhere. Should be right around here. Where'd it go? <sighs> oh man, I hope I live long enough to regret it. I'm far enough! Freeze Lancer! Freeze the wind! In here! Stay on the crook! Get on your way! Hit him away! I'll stop it, Chuck! Thanks, you, Sarah. Here's your day. I never miss. Rising water. I'll crush you. Ah! Lightning reflexes. Ten of Just keep your eye. Rising water. Here I go. Not in your dreams. Here's your one. Sonic rock. Here's your one. Do it. Move your ball. Look sharp. Lightning Tiger Blade! Was that too much? Not at all. Swallow Dance! Seems about right to me. Brace yourself! This one's tough! Water! Here my swallow! Slice this on for size! What? No! Pierce! You better brace yourself! Breaking Whoa! 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 Whoa!
Sure did. The part where you sw We've searched this much and there's still no trace. Hmm. They must be pretty big. They shouldn't be able to hide so well. It's almost as though... <sighs> I've got it. Huh? Nasimil? Wait, what are you doing? Wait here. Nasimil! An invisible Zugal? This must be the culprit. Let's do this. How dare they attack the ranch? It feels like this is personal for you. I won't let them get away with it either. Stay back, Nasimil. Healing circle! Thanks, Shia. Be careful not to overdo it. I'm sorry. I'll do better. The black parts are weak for you! Still grateful. Move around! Get on! I'll cover you! 
that can turn invisible. That explains why no one had seen it. Azamil, I'm impressed you figured that out. I just thought about what everyone was saying and had a hunch. It must have figured it was safe when hidden. It didn't expect an invisible opponent. Should I not have done that? To be honest, I'd prefer you didn't take such big risks. However, if you hadn't done that, that Zugul could have taken us out before we even knew what was happening. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Alright, gang! Let's let Bogdale know his Zugal problem is taken care of. <laughs> well, Nasamil, you seem to be in a good mood. It feels good to be thanked by someone, doesn't it? Yeah. Looks like we made it here in one piece. Wait, someone's fallen over there. Bogdale? Bogdale! Hey, Bogdale! Is... Is that you, boy? What happened? Right after you left, that Zugal came. I thought I had him, but he got the drop on old Bogdale. These wounds are bad. He needs healing right away, or- That man... Is he a friend of yours? A friend? Well, at the very least, he's always been good to me. Understood. Nazamil. She's... Bogdale? What happened? I thought I was a goner. Those wounds were mortal, but they healed in an instant. Incredible. Was I of use? Absolutely. Look. Are you the one who saved me? Yes. You don't say. I owe you my life, young lady. Thank you so much. You've got my thanks, too. You really are amazing, Nazamil. See? There are people out there who appreciate you. And there always will be. <sighs> anyway, now that we've completed the job, we should go back to the city and tell Lagil. To think it would attack while we were out searching for it. Yeah, I thought he was a goner for a minute. Thank goodness we had Nazamil with us. Hey, I was just thinking, 
When we get back to Descent, let's celebrate. Celebrate? Celebrate what? Are you really that dense? Nazamil's performance, obviously. We should. It was our first request completed together. Besides, she deserves most of the credit. In that case, there's a place I've been wanting to check out for a while now. Let's go there. <laughs> what is it, Nazamil? No need to hold back. I'm not holding anything back. It's just that it's hard to relax when I'm surrounded by strangers. Then why don't we camp like we used to? Oh yeah, that'd be nice. We could build a fire, cook food together, and really have some fun. Yeah, I'd like that. Let's have fun tonight! Yeah. What should we make then? We're doing this for Nazamil, so let's skip the fancy delicacies. Now, as for the seating arrangement... There. That ought to do it. How's it going on your end? All the ingredient preparation is out of the way. I'm ready to start cooking. Can I help with anything? Maybe I could be in charge of the seasoning. No way. We don't want to risk putting people's tongues or stomachs in danger today. Oh, uh, right. What is it, Nazamil? <laughs> oh, uh... I gathered branches for the fire. Does this look like it will be enough? Yeah, that should do it. Thanks for the help. You are the guest of honor today, so you really didn't have to do anything. Yeah, but I'd rather be together with everyone. Oh, Nazamil's here too. Welcome back. Huh? What's the matter? Did I say something weird? What do you mean, welcome back? Huh? Well, you're finally back, aren't you? It's just that... No one's ever said that to me. I mean, not until now. So I don't know what I'm supposed to... It's good to be back. Huh? When you hear welcome back, you can say that in response. Um... People say welcome back to their friends or family when they return to a place that's like home. A place... that's like home. But... But I... This place is sort of like a home, too. Good... to be... Mm hmm It's good to be back. There you go. Welcome back, Nazamil. Welcome back. Well then, let's get the preparations done before it gets dark. Mind lending me a hand, Nazamil? Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Let's make this night one to remember. You can leave that to me. <laughs> I hope we can travel together forever. Forever would be impossible. Done. This is sure to give the others some much-needed energy. Can you use this to cook something? Yes, I might be able to create a new dish with this. Do you want to see what it tastes like? Sounds like you want to see what it tastes like. That is a rather inconsiderate thing to say. But it's true, isn't it? I'd say it's more foolhardy than inconsiderate. Well, seriously? But then again, you might have a point. Looks like they're enjoying themselves. I haven't slept that well in a long time. Uh, 
You've changed. Who? Me? Yes. You've loosened up. I agree. You seem to be having fun. To be honest, I don't really know what it's like to have fun. But unlike before, my heart feels lighter. It's a little strange, but it's not a bad feeling. I'd never wanted to use my power to help anyone before, nor had I ever been praised for it. And I never imagined I'd ever travel with someone. With friends. I'm sure there are a lot more travels in your future. In my future? Do you have some kind of dream? Something you want to do? I'm not sure. I've never thought about the future before. You don't have to force yourself. Say, what about a hobby or something? What do you like to do? Oh. I like to draw. To draw? Just scribbling things I see or feel. O only sometimes, though. Interesting. So you're an artist? Sure, that got your attention. But you draw the things that leave an impression on you, right? I think it's a lovely hobby. If you don't mind, show me your drawing sometime? Yeah. I'd like that. Time flies when we're traveling together. Kisara! Lord Dohalim! Oh, thank goodness. What's wrong? We took care of the Zoogle that was attacking the ranch. You did? That's great news. However, something more urgent has come up now. After you left, we received a report from the Darkwings. The Darkwings? From Niez? The city's Danans and Renans are provoking each other, and the Darkwings say they can't control the situation for much longer. So they say... I know, I know. You want us to return, right? It sounds like the situation must have worsened if they sent such an urgent backup request. Undoubtedly. And we just came from Niaz. <laughs> Are you still coming with us? I want to be with you all. And also, I... I want to be of use. You've definitely proven you can take care of yourself just fine. It's settled then. Back to Niaz. Zoogles are inside the city. I don't know if it was the Danans or the Renans who did it, but someone must have let them in. But how? The Renans can't control them anymore, right? We've got to figure that out, and get rid of all the Zoogles in the city. There are too many for us to split up and fight in groups. I'll take a look around. Oh, right! If you turn invisible, you can walk right past the Zoobles. Go ahead, but be careful. I'll be fine. Now then, let's hunt some Zoobles. Just what were they thinking letting Zoogles into the city? I'm sure they weren't thinking that far ahead. Well, they should have. Now they're putting their own people in danger. We've got to take care of it ourselves. Damn it. Great those fear. Here's the evil. We've got flyers. I've got this. Let a marksman now. Astral energy. Say no more. I'm worried about Nasumil. I'm 
Let's finish this. Indeed. We need to get this situation under control. Right. There's only one thing for us now to do. Now see what I can do. Run it, run, run. Yes, do it. Go for me. Light burst four. Radiant Genesis. What about Nasumi? Did she go already? I think so. Let's hurry before she gets too far ahead. A Zugul body. Not just that. It can't be. The hollowing? Hey, you okay? <laughs> Zugul carcasses and the hollowing. What happened? The threat. That damn redded look. You're saying Nasumil did this? The dead Zugals? And the hollowing too? The hollowing is what remains after matter has been stripped of all its astral energy. Nazamil gathered astral energy for a powerful astral art before, so maybe... Hollowing in this city? This is not good. We should hurry and catch up with her. Do Danans and Renans really want to fight so badly? They're willing to expose their own people to danger? I refuse to accept the idea that things were peaceful back when we were oppressed by force. More of the... Is Nazamil in there? The trail of Hollowed leads into the plaza. She must be... We've got to hurry. Out of our way, damn it! to get to the plaza. Stay out of our way! Don't get reckless. Focus on the enemies in front of you. I know. In a vine? Rising run! Line three! Why can can you take care of them? No sooner said than done! Rising run! We need to pull ourselves together. Stronger! This is a way to go! Not in your dreams! I'm on my Yeah! Luna Ronda! You're finished! Oh! I'll heal you Thanks, all! Eat this! Raising Wait. Flame! Light Burst 4! Radiant Genesis! Here, let There's me more of them? It's like they're being drawn to the plaza. Could whoever's responsible for this also be there? I'll crush you! <laughs> Lightning Reflexes! Tenebrous Claw! Enemies incoming! Reinforcement? Eat this! Then Don't we'll leave it down! Indeed, that does seem wise. Now let's turn the tide. I can carve through armor. Prepare to be sealed. First strike. Blazing flame. You're on. Strike there. You picked the wrong target. I'm just getting through. More circles. Keep calm and take them down. I don't even know the word defeat. I owe you one. This is mine. Now, astral energy. Say no more. Firing coming. Rising wiper. Can't get out of this. Healing Easter. Move the rocket. That'll bring you down. Say no more! Here, let me help. I can handle it. Burn! Here's the shade! Oh, violent Sonic Garden Wind. Great your spear. Here's the evil. Swallow Dan! Come on, I'm loving this! Pierce through! Sonic Thrust! I'll be saving Pierce this through. one! Take this! Sonic Thrust! Pierce through! Sonic Thrust! Pierce through! Now! Sonic Thrust! Get toasty! Burn strike! The way is clear. Hurry, to the plaza. Hold your fire! 
Nazamil saved your lives! The hell she did? She's a monster! How could the hero of Dana defend this abomination? I don't get it! Whose side are you on anyway? Are you okay, Nazamil? <laughs> well, if he refuses to do it... I don't get it. Why would the hero... How dare you. What the hell? Why are you turning on us? We're not the enemy. That thing's the one you should fight. I fought to save the oppressed. I fought to save all the innocent people of this world. Were you able to find out who could have let the Zoogles in? It was those men in the plaza. They burned some kind of insects that attract Zoogles. Where would they even get something like that? For now, most of those behind the scheme have been detained. I owe you. Denons are one thing, but can you even catch Renans? You may find it hard to believe, but... There are Renans that don't want to fight, but more pressing than that. Is the hollowing, and everything that happened at the plaza. Yes. Rumors are already spreading like wildfire throughout the city, about Nazamil and Alfin both. I... Alfin. I ended up drawing my blade on those that turned to me for help. I used force on people who thought differently from me. Just like the enemies we all fought against. But 
What choice did I have? <sighs> I think it'd be best for you to leave Niez for a bit. Just until things cool down. I hate to say it, since I'm the one who called you back here and all. But why? Alvin saved my life. He didn't do anything wrong. Nazamil. Why is Alpin the one being punished? Why not me? It's okay. It isn't Bayfon's fault. But... That's fine. I'll do as you say, and leave for a while. I'll tell everyone what really happened. How none of you are to blame. It doesn't make any sense. We rush to their aid, and this is how they treat us? Enough, Law. It would be too difficult to reach another city at this hour. Camping might be our best bet today. About Niaz and the Hollowing? Of course you didn't know. We never told you about it. But those people hate Alfin now. It's not your fault. But... If anything, it was my fault. This happened because I couldn't control my anger. You didn't start it. They were going to hurt Nazamil. Unfortunately, if you favor either side, the other will hate you. If you treat them equally, then they both will. People have strong opinions when it comes to the Blazing Sword. Pleasing everyone will hardly be a simple matter. What about you, Dohalim? As the final lord, you're in a similar position, don't you think? True. Some turn to me for help, while others despise me. All simply because I am a lord. But compared to the symbol that Alfin must bear, my burden is quite light. People can be... entitled about these kinds of things. If they assume someone is there to help them, they're doubly disappointed when that's not the case. In that, Danins and Renans are the same. So, what will we do now? Let's go back to the synth for now. We can decide whether to divide up or not once we get there. Is it morning already? Wake up, everybody! Hurry! What's wrong? Nazamil's gone! What? Are you sure she's not just taking a walk around while invisible? Apparently not. She left behind a letter. Uh, to my friends. My, my first friends. It made me happy that I could help all of you. It made me happy to earn your praise. I don't want my friends to be sad. I don't want anyone to hate you. You all taught me that my power can be of use. So... I'm going to see if there isn't something I can do. What is this? What are you planning on doing, Nazamil? 
somewhere nearby, aren't you? Please say something, Nazamil. Nazamil! It's been weeks. We're still searching for Nazamil, using Vicent as our base of operations. She was so happy to finally make some friends. Where could she be? What is she up to? Wherever she is, regardless of how much we continue to search, we still haven't managed to find a single trace of her. And, once again, I find myself... She was spotted on Treslita Highway, correct? Yes, but we don't know that it was actually Nazamil. All we know is that they saw a Renan-looking girl wandering around by herself. I hope we find her this time. Even if it isn't her, it's dangerous for anyone to be alone outside the city. Let's go. Okay, off we go. Around here? I think so. The people who saw her were a little fuzzy on the details. Let's expand the range of our search a bit. Zoogles are still pretty common out here. We'd better find her soon. Look! There's someone over there! Yes, but it isn't Nazamil. Well, let's go take a look anyway. <sighs> Are you this kid's mom? I'm glad everyone's all right. Are you going to kill us now? Uh, what? Are you going to take my daughter away and brainwash her? Wait, it's not like that. Lies! I know who you are. The Blazing Sword of Dana is here to oppress us. And if we fight back, we die. I've heard it all. No, no, listen. I never should have come here. I'm leaving. Wait, you... Don't come any closer! <sighs> well, that wasn't Nazamil. Seemed like she wanted to move to Vicent, but in the end, she probably wouldn't have been able to fit in. I feel sorry for her child. Are you okay? This isn't the first time this has happened. Let's go back to Vicent. What was up with that woman and her daughter? And here we were, worried about them! It's all right, Law. Even knowing how deep-rooted the conflict between Renans and Danans is, it's still difficult to accept that some people just won't listen. Right. Putting all the blame for what happened on one person? It's irrational. How many? Fine. If it's come to this, I'll use my astral arts to show you who your master is. Enough! 
Why, you insolent! This man wishes to emigrate here, but is demanding preferential treatment because he's a Renan. That's not how things are done here. Did you come here without knowing that? Lord Dohalim! I had heard talk, of course, but I considered the rumors too preposterous to believe. So, it's true. The Blazing Sword and the Lord are working in league with one another. What an affront to our people! Thank you for your help. He wouldn't listen to reason. Lately, more and more Renans and Danans are acting like that. It's true. I'm trying to think of solutions, but it's a very delicate situation. Oh, one other thing. Drashin from the Department for Welfare was looking for you all. He says he has something to discuss. Alfin. It's difficult to receive such hostility from a stranger. I know I've experienced it myself, but... Don't worry. <coughs> Nazimil! Where have you... Be patient. Just for a little longer. Nasimil, come back! I want to talk! Nazimil was right here! Maybe we can... Ah, it's no good. There are too many people. What did she mean by be patient? And why up here now of all times? We spent so long searching for her. Was she actually watching us the whole time? Please forgive me for summoning you all. I was hoping I could ask you to deliver a personal correspondence to Sisladen. A delivery? Isn't that a job for the Service Corps? Usually, yes. Truth be told, they aren't too fond of the Corps over there as of late. Really? The letter is for Bregan of the Silver Swords, right? I can't see him being upset about it. He isn't the issue. It's the citizens of Sisladen. They're not just wary of Renans, but Danans too. Makes sense. It is Cislodia after all. I see. And you've come to us because you think no one would risk interfering with us, is that it? Yes. Of course, I don't think such a task would require all of you to carry it out. What do you want to do? It's possible Nazimil will come back here. Judging by that interaction, I don't think we'll see her again, until she's ready. In which case, it's meaningless to continue searching for her. I think we should stay together so we're not apart when she returns. But... What Dohalim says makes sense. Besides, we've been trying to find Nazimil for a while. It would be good for you to focus on other things for a bit. Yeah. All right then. We'll make the trip to Sisloden. Thank you so much. Here is the letter. So what's this correspondence about? It's a formal letter between autonomous organizations. If Only we could use running communication equipment. It's as cold as ever here. The sun may have come back, but this place is still in the mountains. It will take time for the current amount of snow to melt down to this region's new normal.
I wasn't expecting you to come deliver a letter. Sorry for the trouble. We heard they've been very critical of outsiders in Sislodia of late. Sislodia still has almost no Renins, right? The Renins are definitely all gone, but there's still some lingering uneasiness between the Danins here. And I keep hearing rumors about survivors of the Snake Eyes being active. So, people will always fight, even among their own kind. All you need for a disagreement is two people. If you want a reason, you can easily find one. Plus, this is Cislodia. It takes time for deeply ingrained mindsets to change. Time, huh? Of course, there are some people trying to actively change things. Some are even inspired by what you all are doing. If you don't mind, I hope you'll have a look around town. Thinking about the state of the city? Yes. It's complicated, considering that the peace was made possible by driving out the Renans. The Danans here are still working on reconciliation just amongst each other. We can't afford to be too hasty. It's awfully quiet for such a large city. The snow muffles the noise somewhat. But the urge to keep quiet is also a hard habit to break. Everyone's still avoiding eye contact. It's like nothing's changed. It'll take more time for them to reach that level of comfort with other people. Hey, Poodle. You sure he's not just trying to hide from us? Hey, you there. I knew I recognized you. You hear that? Shh, not so loud. What's wrong? The days of being monitored are long over. Oh, come on. You didn't forget I used to be an informant, did you? Revenge and vigilante justice are officially prohibited, but still. Anyway, that's not why I'm here. What, is something the matter? Yeah, a pal of mine left town and I haven't heard from him since. It's been three whole days. Why not ask the Silver Swords? They should listen, regardless of your past. You think I'd be suffering in silence if it were that easy? Is there more to the story, then? <sighs> you ask for help, then clam up. Not exactly what I'd call trustworthy. Please, you're the only ones I can turn to. Maybe we should help him out. Law? So, this guy's really a friend of yours? Yeah, I'm not lying. All right, we'll search for him. You seem strangely supportive of him, Law. I mean, sure, he used to be an informant. But he's clearly trying to change his ways. I just want to help him with that. I agree. In times like these, respecting someone's wish to start over seems more important than ever.
hard to still be afraid to talk to each other, even after a whole year has passed. I guess people like us will just have to keep doing our best to help things change. Ooh. Ooh. He's saying the king is calling for him. I think. We should be able to cook here. Let's focus on what we should be doing right now. You can never be too prepared, but did we have to spend so much? Okay, off we go. Over there. Oh, what do you know? I'll go catch us some dinner. You could have just said you wanted to fish. There's no need to take a detour. In these temperatures, collapsing outside of town is practically a death sentence. Yeah, I hope he's okay. I wonder what the reason is. We're not dealing with a criminal, are we? <sighs> Someone's there! It's a Renan, and he appears to be injured. Thanks a lot. 
I went to gather herbs, but I got injured and couldn't move. Say, you don't happen to have a Danon friend, do you? Why do you ask? So he's the one. I knew it. Your friend asked us to find you. He did? That idiot. What am I supposed to do if the people in town find out? He must have been worried about you. Can you walk? Let's go back to town together. No. I can't go to Sisloden. They kicked out all the Renans. I'm going back to my hideout in the mountains. Tell him thanks for me, okay? I never would have imagined his friend's a Renan. It's no wonder he turned to us. I wonder what their connection is. I'm sure he can explain more. A Renan and a former informant. Quite the odd couple. So he didn't leave town. He was never in it to begin with. We found your friend. He made it safely back to his home. I see. That's good to hear. Now that you've met him, you know why I had to turn to you. And may we ask how you know each other? When people found out I was an informant, things got nasty. I fled town, which would have been fine, but it was too cold and I collapsed. And that's when he saved you? At first I was suspicious, but I can tell when someone's fishy or not. And I knew he was sincere about helping me. Why does he keep living in those snowy mountains, instead of moving to one of the other realms? He says he loves the Sislodian Mountains. Can you believe it? A year ago when the skies were clear, he said he was simply stunned. Couldn't believe how beautiful it was. He's a good guy. Interesting to talk to, and he knows a lot. In return, I get him what he needs to survive. Sounds like a nice relationship. I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna get moving before we draw attention. Thanks, you helped a lot. I guess people weren't joking about you being a hero. <clears throat> Cislodia looks the same as ever, but perhaps it actually has changed. Hmm. It bothers you, doesn't it? Being called a hero. No. Since we came all the way to Cislodia, why not check out Calaglia too? Calaglia? I mean, I guess it's not far from here. But what about Nazamil? We're not going to be able to find her now. She'll come to us when she wants to. So it doesn't matter where we are. Well, I don't mind. But what about you, Alfin? Let's go. It's better than spinning our wheels here. Okay. Calaglia, huh? I wonder how the Crimson Crows are doing. Pretty much the same. Just doing a lot better these days, obviously. Finally made it. Huh? What's the matter, Law? It's just weird how quiet it is. Are you sure? Isn't this how it normally is? Usually there's a little more going on. Like building and repairing houses and stuff. But there's none of that. Now that you mention it, you're right. Do they halt the repairs or something? If it isn't the Blazing Sword, and Law too! Just call me Elfin. But that's no way to speak to our hero and savior! <clears throat> uh, hey, uh, what's going on? It looks like the construction's on hold. It is. Is that why you're here? No, I was just wondering. Mind explaining? You know how the Crimson Crows are in charge of reconstruction? 
Well, they've been busy lately. Which means the repairs on my house are taking forever. My family's tired of waiting so long. We could make some progress if we at least had materials. But those damn Zoogles... So you want us to do something about that? Yes! You can find what we need in the Iglia Wastes. Should be a cakewalk for a hero, right? <laughs> Talk about getting carried away. Sheesh. I guess this is what heroes do now. Alfin. Still, we can't ignore this. Come on. <laughs> Sup. Something's bothering you again. People rely on us because we're heroes. We just drop everything to help them because it's expected of us. Is that really the way it should be? The Iglia Wastes haven't changed. Still nothing but Zoogles living here. Not to be rude, but it's not exactly the sort of place I'd want to live anyway. I heard Calaglia's climate became milder after the worlds merged, but this is... It has only become milder in comparison to before. If it were to change too fast, neither the people nor plant life would be able to keep up. That's not quite what I meant. I hope one day the people in this realm have enough water to go swimming whenever they want. Huh? Is that what we're looking for? What's this thing? must be smiling.
design of this equipment is really interesting. You must really... They like it, Alfin. Phew. What a rush. Everything we need is here. Hopefully this will help the reconstruction start again. Hmm. You're lost in your thoughts again. It was probably the blazing sword they needed. Not me. People who know you, see you. <sighs> we all have a hard time with the discrepancy between our true self and the impression others have of us. But I doubt such knowledge will help you feel any better right now. Hey, why don't we go back to Ulzebek? There's no point in staying here anyway. Right, let's go. Are you? How did it go? Not bad. That should be all taken care of. Oh, wow, that's great! I knew I could count on the blazing sword. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Hmm. The blazing sword until the bitter end, huh? I wonder what he would have done if I'd turned him down. Well, I guess. He probably would have been disappointed that you couldn't help him. But I can't help everyone. It's like I'm doomed to fail them. Sometimes I think Volron was right. This is my only choice. Drop everything every time someone needs help? Is that even me anymore? I talk to Nazemir like I'm some sort of role model. But look at me. What future? Alfin. I knew it would be like this if I came to the city. Why did I agree to come? Alfin. Why did you save me? Was it just because you were a hero? No. No, of course not. That, that's not it. I... I just... You chose to fight because you had a reason, right? Regardless of what that reason may have been. Don't forget that you have friends. That there are people who can help guide you. That's part of the reason why I wanted you to come here with me. It's because I wanted to help remind you of that fact. <sighs> From what I remember, there should be someone in this city who can help you in ways that the rest of us can't. Crimson Crows? No, not them. Doc. Right. Doc. Oh, yeah. Doc's living in Olzebek now. You're looking good, Doc. Hmm. You aren't looking too good yourself, though. I've been wondering when you'd show up. <sighs> so, what is it? I don't know what you're struggling with, but just spit it out. That's the reason you've come here, isn't it? I can't keep any secrets from you, can I? So, the truth is... I see. So everyone comes to you asking for your help. I don't mind being relied on. I mean... I'm happy to help. It's just that... You take it for granted because you're a hero. That must be tough. I don't blame you. I just don't understand. Renans hate me without question, while Danans call me a hero. Who in the world am I? <sighs> we spend such a long time as slaves. In some ways, I suppose we're still trying to get free. Listen, Alfin. How many hands do you have? Hands? Well, I have two. 
And how many things can you hold at once with those two hands? Ah. You think the blazing sword can hold hundreds or thousands of things at once just because he's a hero? Nonsense. Well... All they see is the legend. They can't tell the difference between Elf and the person and Elf and the blazing sword. That's your real problem, isn't it? So you need to tell them. Remind them that you only have two hands. Are you saying I should abandon people even when they're asking for my help? Not at all. You want to help everyone. That's a great mindset, and there's nothing wrong with it. However, in order for you to meet everyone's needs, you would have to grow a thousand hands. No? Even a thousand wouldn't be enough. You'd still miss something, and the people would still complain. All you can do is choose what's important to you. What will you do with just those two hands of yours? You are the one who decides, Alfred. Not the people, not the blazing sword, but you. I decide. I decide for myself. I do. Mosgul is being used as housing for Renans, so we can't go in. The Renans there must be living pretty rough. This... Say it's temporary until they can relocate to Pelegion, at the very least. I hear it's been improved. What's going on? I don't know, but it's gotta be something big. That's the blazing sword, you know. Everyone, listen! I once fought with my friends against the Renan Lords. I did so because I thought it was the way to save everyone. I always thought that I had an obligation to fight. To help those unable to fend for themselves. But I realized... I was wrong. I can certainly fight to some extent. But I'm still just a human. I'm not a god. Or a hero. What are you saying? No way! You mean you're not going to help us anymore? That's not what I'm saying. I want to do all I can. But not because I'm some hero. Not because anyone told me to. I want to do it because I choose to. Even so, there's a limit to what I can do. And that's why... You're saying you'll be a hero. Who helps when you're truly needed. Nath. When Zephyr died, we foisted that responsibility entirely on you, rather than sharing the burden. Eventually, you'll be gone. Just like Zephyr. Everyone dies in the end, whether they are a hero or not. We need to learn to fend for ourselves, and not rely entirely on you. Or on any individual, for that matter. Am I right? Right. Exactly. I believe that is the path to real, lasting freedom. For all of us. 
but each and every one of you will need to work together. I'm asking for your help. You heard him. The time for depending completely on others is over. From here on out, we have to find ways to do whatever we can on our own. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll be fine. Go ahead and leave the rest to us. You focus on yourself. I'm sorry for burdening you with so much up until now. <sighs> Thanks. Feeling better? Yeah. I guess, in the end, it seems I was bound by the word hero myself. You freaked me out when you suddenly decided to talk to everyone on your own like that. Those who depend entirely on others cannot truly call themselves free. A good lesson that we all should keep in mind. The people here will eventually understand. I really believe that. If everyone can learn to truly think and decide for themselves, I think they'll start seeing a lot of things differently. And hopefully, one day, they'll realize that the differences between Danins and Renans don't matter at all. So then, now that you've decided to follow your heart, what do you want to do next, Alfin? I want to find Nazimil. I'm not sure what she's going through, but I can't help but feel like she needs us. But first, I want to go to Niez. Yes. I want to speak to the people in different cities like I did in Olzebek. I'll start with Niez. I'll start sowing the seeds in every town, so that maybe, one day... That's quite an undertaking. Difficult for a hero, let alone one man. Well, I guess we'll just have to lend him a hand then, won't we? Niez it is then. Unlike Ulzebek, both Danins and Renans live in Niez. about it sure doesn't seem like any sort of festival i've got a very bad feeling about this the way they didn't seem to be listening to anything brings back some bad memories huh what we saw at volron's castle you're right just what's going on and those masks yeah they look just like the iron mask i once wore we should find someone who can fill us in. They're all wearing masks. They aren't responding to anything we say. What's going on? Maybe we can find someone without a mask. They're all wearing the same masks. Even the Renans. Hey, can you hear me? Hello? useless. What's going on? Do these come off? Removing them should be our last resort. If the masks caused this, who knows what happens if we take them off? Hmm. Hurt, but they're so silent. It's creepy. Either Denon or Renan is fine. Isn't there anyone here without a mask? Maybe they've taken shelter somewhere. Let's have a look around. Who is it? Bayfun? You're safe. 
What's happening? What was wrong with those people up front? Well... Hmm? A while back, some very odd folk showed up in town. They were all wearing masks, but there were both Renans and Danans among them. But that wasn't the weirdest part of the whole thing. Who do you think was leading them? I don't know. Who? Nazamil. What do you mean? How could Nazamil be leading them? It's exactly as I said. Only one person was wearing a different mask than the others, and it was her. No doubt about it. They called themselves Cal Basil. But one path. They said they had come to bring peace. However, their methods made that very hard to believe. They started putting those masks on all the people here, and you saw what happened to them after that. You mean you couldn't stop them? What happened? Where were the Dark Wings? Nazamil was using some astral art. It was nearly impossible to resist her. I see. But you managed to slip away and hide here. What is Nazamil up to? Turning people into her puppets with those masks. They say they bring peace. And I guess technically, they can't fight if they're all being controlled like that. Nazamil told us to be patient a little longer, didn't she? Whatever is going to happen, it must be imminent. Do you know where they were headed? Shinefall Woods, in Ganeth Harrows. I know it's odd, but when someone asked where they came from, that's where they said their base is. They're not even trying to hide? Could it be some kind of trap? We'll just have to go and find out. I see no other options. Phase one's coming along well. Soon, phase two will come. Everything is going perfectly. Just you wait. Right. Right. Is Nazamil really out here somewhere? These woods are pretty huge. This is the only lead we've got right now. We'll search this place from top to bottom if we have to.
You guys want to rest here? Careful. Someone's there. The Snake Eyes. What are they doing here? And those masks? Wait. Almost no response. Just like the people in Niez. It must be the masks, right? Most likely. The Snake Eyes want Renans in power again. Normally they'd have attacked us or called for backup by now. And the masks are powerful enough to pacify even them. What has Nazamil started? I don't know. But we don't have enough information to speculate. I see what looks to be a mausoleum. Not a bad place to use as a base. Let's hope Nazamil is there too. Come on. It is just for the strong to dominate over those who are weaker. Being different is meaningless in the face of sheer power. And yet, the one who taught me that still died in the end. The truth is that people will always doubt, hate, and reject anything that's different, including me. We're investigating the mausoleum, aren't we? Let's go! Is it okay for us to just ignore those snake eyes? It doesn't seem like they're aware of us, so I think it should be okay. They better not suddenly jump out from behind us or anything. Uh, why would you say something like that? This wall's damaged and connects to a cave. We can use this to get further inside. I wonder if we can get back to... Th the mausoleum. There seem to be damaged areas throughout the complex. Let's hope they're connected to one another. 
There are Zoogles in here, too. Much like those outside, they don't seem to be controlled in any way. Here's wearing a mask, too. No response. It's like they can't even see us. This is creeping me out. Let's get going already. Huh? Is that...? What could this be? Damn. Yeah. Hmm. Well? Well? Someone's there. The Blazing Sword? What are you doing here? One of the Snake Eyes not wearing a mask? So an enemy? Wait, I don't want to fight. Pretend you didn't see me, please. What's going on? Why aren't you wearing a mask? Th this used to be our base. Then they took it over. They? You mean Cal Basil? Yeah, them. They appeared out of the blue and put those masks on everyone. We fought back, of course, but the kid leading them was too strong. There was nothing we could do. Nazamil. My friends' personalities totally changed once they were wearing those masks. They joined the other side. It was terrifying. I found a chance to escape before they could put one on me. A sudden change of personality. Sounds like those masks exert influence on the mind. One more thing. How can Cal Basil travel safely with all the Zoogles around? There's a special passage. Thing is, it only opens if you're wearing one of their masks. Should have known. That means we can't use it, though. No way we're putting on those masks. So, what do you say? I don't want to get captured again. Not after all that. Fine. You can go. We should go, too. We have to find Nazamil.
I'd wondered how Nazamil managed to create an entire organization so quickly. So she used the power of the masks to take over the Snake Eyes. Why would she control people like this? Looks like we can swim across here. I don't like getting my clothes wet, but I guess this is no time to be fussy. I know it'll be fine, but... I'm always hesitant to let the Blazing Sword get wet. I told you, don't worry about it. Our sword will be fine. Our sword? Hmm. How things change. What's that sound? I think it's coming from over there. Let's take a peek. This place... Is this... where they make those masks? The people wearing them seem different from everyone we've seen so far. Xion, wait! Do you see us? Yes. What can I do for you? She got through. What are you all doing here? What are you trying to accomplish? We maintain this facility to mass produce and manage suppressors. Our goal, of course, is world peace. Suppressors? That must be the proper name for those masks. So, it's a tool to subdue the wearer's will. Wearing one makes you a doll. An empty shell. That's their idea of peace? That is only the initial state. Interference from the wearer's will creates conflict with the suppressor that must be compensated for. Eventually, the mind is calmed, and a harmony is reached between the two. Then everyone becomes the same. What do you mean, the same? We mean that we all share the same values, the same thoughts and ideas as the reigning visage. Our minds are calm. We have no confidence. In other words, everyone wearing one of those things just does what they're told? This is wrong. Controlling minds? Forcing compliance? You can't call that peace! You've all gotta wear those things and obey the reigning visage's orders, right? That's... There is no need to worry, for we have located the Keystone. The Keystone? The facility that controls all of the many mausoleums throughout the world. You found the mausoleum's control center? But how? By interfacing directly with the Keystone, the bearer of the reigning visage is able to harmonize even with distant suppressors. The world will be joined as one. All differences will cease to be. Alfin. Alfin? Are you the one called... Alfin? So what if I am? Nazamil has been expecting you. <laughs> she waits further within this facility. You may proceed. Controlling people's minds with those masks? I just don't get it. Why is Nazamil doing this? And if she's waiting for us, does that mean she knew we were coming? At this point, it would be better to ask her directly rather than speculate. That enemy looks strong. I bet it'll be worth our while to fight it. Take what they said about the masks at face value? Didn't that seem a little too easy? Now that you mention it, no one here is even trying to stop us. It's gotta be some kind of trap. 
they said they're gonna bring peace, but that's only by using those masks to brainwash everyone, right? Awesome, Neil. I think Hoodle's hungry. Funny. I could have sworn that was your stomach making all the racket. Make us even more formidable.
We seem to have come across something a little unusual. Hey! Look at that door! Nazamil's. Oh, then that room must be hers. Let's take a look inside. Pretty dreary place. No decorations or anything. Is this Nazamil's room? Hmm. They say that a room is a reflection of its inhabitant. Then, what does this say about her? From what everyone said, she's supposedly the leader of this group. But this seems like... This room. Once... Back when I lived on Lenegas, my old room looked a lot like this one. It doesn't contain anything beyond the basic necessities. It's just a place to sleep. <sighs> Are these... us? I wonder if Nazamil drew them. What's this? Everyone in the Forbidden Zone, and my father who sent me there, all they cared about was my power. I thought that if I did what they wanted, they would accept me. But I was wrong. But I was wrong. Because I have Danon blood. Because I possess all six elements. Because I was sent back from the Forbidden Zone. Because I'm different. I'm not Renan. I'm not Danon either. And it was all my fault. It was my fault. I was different. I always believed that. I believed there was nothing I could do. But again, I was wrong. It wasn't my fault. I finally understand that. And I know what I have to do. Nazamil. Because she was treated so horribly for her differences, she thinks she can solve her problems by using those masks to make everyone the same. But why? She knew we accepted her, and she was so happy to be with us. So, how could she... No matter how hard her life has been, it is no excuse to manipulate people's hearts. We have to stop her. We can't let her do this. But why would Nazamil do something like this? And why now? She has endured a lot of hardships over the years. Maybe meeting us set something off inside her. We should hurry. We have to stop Nazamil. Stay calm, Elfin.
You all came. Nazamil. Is it true you're trying to forcibly alter the wills of everyone in the world with those masks? If you mean the suppressors, then yes. Come on! You sure the hell Gankwil aren't forcing you to do this or something? That's it, right? Sorry, but no. They are asleep. I merely looked in on their thoughts. <sighs> That's how I found out about the suppressors and about the mausoleums. So you're able to read minds? I see. So that's how she learned of the Keystone. You can't get rid of everything that's different by compelling everyone to think like you. Hmm. Yes, I know. That's why I'm making their minds all the same. Same as mine. <sighs> I like all of you more than I can say. If everybody has my thoughts, they'll automatically like you, too. You want them to... like us? So you're trying to brainwash everyone in the world because you want to do us a favor? For years, I have put up with their hatred. I could bear it if it were just for me. But I can't stand the thought of my friends being hated. Not my best friends. The first friends that I've ever had. I will not let anyone hurt you. You don't have to do this. Now, come on! It'll be done soon. Don't worry, Alvin. I just sent out orders from the Keystone to have suppressors put on everyone. Oh. What the... What? You can't. What you're trying to do here controlling people with these masks of yours. It's tyranny! <laughs> I wanted to make you happy. Nasamil, please, stop this! Come back with us! No way! Why would you say something like that? Oh. Nasamil, listen! I'm doing all this for you! You're supposed to be my friends! Why are you throwing it back in my face? Nasamil! I get it! It's because I was useless, wasn't I? Why do you despise me? Of course I don't hate you! I have an idea. All I have to do is put my thoughts in your heads as well. Then we'll be the same. <sighs> oh. Nasamil! Try to make it quick. If everyone has a suppressor, everyone will be the same. Then they'll like me again. Then they'll be happy again. No, not for me. You're wrong. It's okay. Soon we'll all be the same. Right. In the group. Right. 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 Now we're not right. 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 in a bind. I can do this all day. Let me help! Confiscated! First aid! Hold still! 
I can't get your suppressor on. No way I'm putting one of those things on. Then I'll have to make you. Is she serious? Here's a healing arc. Uh, uh, can right. it now I can let Lou take this. There. What is Where are you going? Illuminate the darkness. Come for holy Not today. In front of Rising Wyvern. Stay down. No further. I'm almost finished. I owe you one. It's nothing gets by me. Deny! Lightning orb! Not done, Strike! Gemini orb! I'm not done! Stay down! Ready and pierce! Here, I'm not done! Strike! Swallow blade! Blade! Gemini aqua! Swallow there! Not today! More for the stone! I'm just getting stuck! Raging stars! Sonic Thrust! Dead time! Open heart! Sonic Thrust! Play into a war! In here! Here! No further! Sonic Thrust! Can't move! Don't give up! Anything in armor is a freaking dungeon! I'll bring you back from the end of this! All day! Talon Hurricane! Holy Lamp! I'm ready! Ready and fire! Not done yet! Talon Hurricane! You're mine! You're mine! Going. First strike! Raging Cascade! Here's Dragon Sleep now! First aid! 
Light and dark astral energy manifested as one? Is she combining multiple elements of astral energy into her attacks? Yeah, I think she is. I've never seen or heard of anything like it before now. Indeed. The danger is all too clear. Nazami! Did you push your astral arts too far? It's too much stress on her body. Please, we've got to stop this recklessness! I hope this thing is medically approved. Inspiration! Hey, Inform! Right Far enough! He's dead! Good to be prepared! Well, then, Rising Wyvern! Right Shining Shadow! I can't hold on much longer! First strike! Hold up, dog! 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 Hold up, Here's the Illuminate the Truth! Here comes the To be let free! Not today! Take fight! Now I can let loose! Dragon's Lord! Fury! Now I'm in the truth! Dragon Swarm! 
Resuscitation! I'll heal you I've all! I've still got some fight left in me! Uh. Healing from uh. is what?
understand. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I thought you were. I thought you were my friends. I don't know what to do. I don't want to be alone again. I don't. I can't. I'm despicable. Yes. I should just disappear. No, no, Samil. Don't, don't do it. We couldn't stop her. We're not done yet. Let's follow her through that teleporter. It's no good. It won't activate. It must be locked from the other side. What's gotten into her? She said she was going to put masks on us, but then she put one on herself and fled. She reminded me of the people back in Niez. The one she put on is the reigning visage, the thing that supposedly controls the other masks, but... If that's the case, maybe it alters the mind of whoever wears it as well. So she used it on herself? Damn it. Why couldn't I explain better? She must think all of us are against her now. Calm down, Alfin. It isn't over yet. That's right. We have to go after her. Sure, but we don't even know where she went. Judging by what she said recently, it's likely she went to the Keystone. The only problem is finding out where that is. No, wait. The coordinates she used are still saved here. If we can enter these into another teleporter, then... You're a genius! So all we need to do is head to another teleporter, right? Yes. Assuming we're lucky enough to find one that isn't already connected somewhere. Hmm. Regardless, I think we should go back to Niez first. What Nazamil said before has me worried. She said she'd send our orders. You're right. We should check it out. Before we leave, we should seal this room. Nazamil might be able to unseal it with her power, but it's better than doing nothing. Ouch! That's smarts! Are you okay, Rinwell? Nazamil has some crazy tricks up her sleeve.
Done. Let's head back to Nies. Things are going in Nies. doing anything. They're all just standing there. I don't understand. Nazamil didn't order her puppets to attack? Or maybe it just hasn't started yet. I'm sorry. Huh? It wasn't supposed to be like this. I'm sorry. Wait! What?! I'm sorry. I thought it would make you happy. I'm sorry. Wh what is going on? Hey! There's beef on! I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are they all being manipulated by the masks? The suppressors? is like this, then do you think the inn is okay? Let's go see. What is going on with these people? I'm glad they're not attacking us. But why do they keep apologizing? At this rate, there might not be anyone left not wearing a mask. And Nazamil plans to do this to the entire world? <sighs> I hope the inn hasn't been compromised. With Bayfon like that, who knows what's happened? They've gotten in. We're done for. No, look, we're not wearing those masks. Oh, thank goodness. I thought for sure. I'm relieved to see some people are still safe. Can you tell us anything about what happened here? Those masked weirdos out front went berserk all of a sudden and tried to force their way in here. Bayfon said he would lure them away and left us. So you've been hiding here, Renans and Danans. All hunkered down together. They didn't hesitate to let me in when I feared for my life. This lady saved me with her astral arts. I never thought I'd see everyone working together like this. That young man said the masked people went berserk. Right. Except Nazamil said she'd already sent out orders before we got to her. Okay. But if that's what initiated the attack, then why have they stopped and gone docile now? And when they talked, it... It was Nazamil's consciousness. You said so yourself, didn't you, Alfin? That does fit with what Nazamil was saying before. How she was changing people's minds to make them the same as her? And now, 
she's wearing a mask, and must be in the same state as the people outside. Assuming the reigning visage has the same effects on the wearer as the suppressors, what would happen if she were to interface with the Keystone? The purpose of connecting to the Keystone was to send orders. But if Nazamil is also under the control of a suppressor... Oh, maybe everyone outside has gone quiet, because they've become the same as Nazamil is right now. But if that's the case, then what was up with all that stuff they said? I suppose... they must have been Nazamil's true feelings. I don't know how it all works, but that has to be it. All of those masked people we saw kept apologizing to us. If those were actually Nazamil's thoughts, then... We have to help her. We have to find a way to show her that we aren't mad at her. But if we want to get to the Keystone, we have to find a teleporter. Oh! A Don Lake! That's right. There's a teleporter there. We have the coordinates we need. Let's go before... Wait. If we're right about what's going on, then it may mean that we'll have to face Nazamil. Before we finally head out, we'll need to make sure we're all prepared for that possibility. She's right. We can't afford to fail. We should rest up and tend to our gear. I think we're ready. Let's all rest up today. Then tomorrow, we'll head out to confront Nazamil. I wonder what she's doing right now. She's still under the mask's control. It is possible that she can't see or feel anything. Even so, her heart is crying out. And I think it's my fault that it is. Your fault? How do you figure? I've been thinking about it nonstop. When we had to fight Nazamil, where did I go wrong? Nazamil tried to take over people's minds, to control them. That is wrong. There's no excuse for it. But in the end, ultimately, she did it for us. Yeah, she did say that. She had no place where she belonged. To her, it must have seemed like the rest of the world didn't even exist. So when she joined us, it was like we became her entire world. We were her first friends, so when we rejected her too... It meant Nazamil lost her whole world. That's why she was so devastated that she tried to erase her own mind. From the beginning, all she wanted was to earn our approval. Flat out rejected her. Because I didn't understand. I was so focused on rebuking her actions that I couldn't empathize with her. Let's show her we're sorry. Then we can hold hands with her, like we did before. I'm sure the charm will help us reconnect. Shouldn't you get some sleep? In theory, yes. But I knew you were off by yourself somewhere, lost in thought. <sighs> Can't hide anything from you, can I? I 
I'm sorry. No, I guess I should say thank you. <laughs> Thanks for what, exactly? For letting me drag you into this life of non-stop travel. For staying with me for all this time. For everything. I've been called a hero, a destroyer, and things even worse than that. But you stayed with me, Xion. Even right now, as you're thanking me, Nazamiel is all you can think about, right? No, I'm sorry. That's not your fault. That's just who you are, Alfin. But the truth of the matter is, that's why I'm here. If you weren't such a caring person, that wouldn't be the case. Shion. And besides, you're not the only one who's worried about Nazamiel. I couldn't sleep either. When I look at her, I see myself. Saddled with a fate she never wanted. Treated like an outsider by everybody. Alone. You know that pain. Really, I think that we all do. Every one of us has scars like Nazamiel's. <laughs> You're the one who saved me, Alfin. And along the way, I think we've all managed to save each other. That's why... I want to help Nazamiel however I possibly can. I want her to feel like she's not alone anymore. Yeah. <sighs> Listen. There's something that I've been wanting to tell you. I think I'm ready to say it. Now that I'm prepared to move forward. Xion, what... Now's not the time. Uh, what? Not while we still have more important things to do. Uh, oh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> Try not to look so worried. I'm not going anywhere, okay? Is that all right? You're always five steps ahead of me. <laughs> All right. Did everybody get enough rest? Let's get moving. Nazamil is waiting for us. Let's show her she has friends who care about her. And put an end to this chaos once and for all. That's right! Then we can have a tasty meal together. I guess that means I'll have to put all of my cooking skills to work, then. It's time. We're bringing her back. No matter what. We need to avoid provoking those masked guys. Yeah. Imagine if they all swarmed us at once. I'm so uh, hey! Quit it! There's the Zoogle we were asked to handle. Let's hope it works. 
<sighs> What's wrong? This is where we found that good luck charm. Who would have thought we'd end up coming back in a situation like this? In the end, maybe it was the charm that guided us to this place. That should do it. Let's hope the coordinates are correct. I wonder if we'll end up fighting again. Can't say for sure, but we have to stop her. Yes. Or everyone in those masks will stay that way forever. What Nazamil put on the mask? She said she should just disappear. She erased herself with the mask. And now the people are shouting her feelings instead. People should speak their thoughts with their own mouths. More than that, they should be allowed to speak their own thoughts. Let's go. We don't know what's waiting for us on the other side. Keep your guard up, everyone. So this is the Keystone, the central nexus of Helganquil technology that governs every mausoleum. Calabasal? They're all just standing there, same as the people back in Niez. Nazamil's will is likely being imposed on them through their masks. It's no good. Looks like even the Sovereign's power can't open it. it either broken or there's some mechanism keeping it sealed. We'll have to keep looking. Zoogles. Think those Cal Basil guys brought them in? No. It's likely they'd already taken up residence here. Looks like we've got no choice but to fight our way through. Something about this place. This reminds me of the Forbidden Zone. Or those tunnels inside Rena. Well, technically, all this was inside Rena, wasn't it? R right. Now that you mention it, I guess that's true. Law said something smart. Art? First time for everything, I guess. Yeah.
could she be? She wouldn't be hanging around with the other masked people, would she? No. Nazamiel's mask looks and functions differently than the others. <laughs> I don't think we'll find her here. Nazamil must be around here somewhere. Let's find her. And another door that Alfin can't open. Guess that crest has its limits, huh? <laughs> This fight out. That wouldn't be a complaint out there. No, that is silly. Can't get away from this. No armor can stop me. <laughs> Remind me to stay Everyone, on the Everyone, get back. It's too Here dangerous. Blazing through. Now, in the group. Here's a healer here. This one's all mine. Not today. Eagle's on the wall. Blazing through. I'll take it from here. Let's see how you handle this! Deus Roar! Dragon Roar! Into the shadows! Rising Wyvern! Start out! Each dirt! Where are you going? Now you flat. see what I can do! Start out! Oh, now you're talking! I owe you one! I'm surrounded. This one's Grimwell. I'm on my feet. Yeah. This one's all mine. You're yeah. finished. Oh, we did it. Thank you. Power up one. Front. I'm not done. Blow away. Luna Rondo. Do it. Do it. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. Hey, anyone else think this might be a touch too dangerous? Ridwell, that's right. We should fall back to regroup and try again later. She put them up before she put on the mask. This one's me. When did she draw this? Probably after she left. She must have drawn all these when she was alone. She was able to draw these just from memory. She must have thought about us a lot. Off. Stay sharp. Stop. What is this? A shadow of Nazamil? Uh, is it okay to hurt this thing? Zuko's dead! That thing is 
not making this easy. Move the Not on my watch. I can Blood. carve through all of mine. Luna Rosa. Dragon shell. It looks like you got this one covered. Soda. Illuminate the star. Healing cover. Keep this. Take the the first time. And I'm still grateful. The enemy is too. You'll soon see about that. Outstanding form. Take this. I'm not done. Nothing can me. No further. It's pinned down. Dragon Commander of Heaven! Phoenix Cyclone! Stay away from my friend! It's You're such a stupid. Looking grim. Hold tight. We've been through far worse before. Right. Time to turn the tide. Luna Rongo! More for the stockpile! Light and ready! Luna Rongo! Not on my watch! Rising Wyvern! Illuminate the dark! Luna Rongo! Can't move! Yeah. Nothing gets by me! I owe you one! Denied! We can't can get out of this! Luna Rongo! I, I can't feel Luna anything. Rongo! You'll pay for that! The flame inside me yearns to be let free! Luna Rongo! What was I thinking? Watch and win! Annihilation! Mega that move! Almost there. Don't let your guard down. I'll bring you back from death's abyss. I can't move! Rick, don't give up! Here's a healing arc! That's gonna smart! See you again! I'll bring you I'll back to the bit! Deny! In a vine? Huh. I'll bring you back from death to bit! When it is I'll bring you back from death to bit! Tunnel! Recessive Raging Terrain! Spread! I owe you! Now! While it's reeling! Take it down! Start up! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Here's a healing Controlled by Nazanir? But wait, this is... Annihilation! 
Wasn't the real Nazamiel after all? It wasn't a Zugal in disguise or anything, was it? It wasn't a living thing. It was like a mass of astral energy. We are inside a huge facility that controls astral energy. The real Nazamiel must be connected to it somehow. Could it be a physical manifestation of astral energy? Just like how Nazamiel's consciousness is flowing into the suppressor? But why would it get in our way instead of coming like the people in town? Do you think it was because she doesn't want to see us? No, it didn't look like she recognized us. That shadow. I think it's somehow caused by Nazamiel's fear, trying to keep us out. Sometimes, when someone has been hurt badly enough, they shut down and close out the world to keep from being hurt again. I know what that's like. Yeah. It's possible Nazamil's mental state is affecting the Keystone's defense systems. If so, I fear there may be worse to come. Shadow have been guarding this? Must be pretty in. Hmm. Nothing seems to have changed. Maybe this can control something in another room. Like that door we found earlier. <laughs> One way to find out. This place is rather gloomy. Why don't you lighten the mood for us while we're here, then? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I've got a really bad feeling about this. I'm not done! Right here! Stardust! You're on! Dragon form! Follow them! Pierce through! Oh, oh, you're now! Huh? Call the go for the weak one! Yeah. There you go! Don't let up! Here you go! Don't mind if I do! Let loose. Stardust! I'll bring you back from the 
This equipment is really interesting. You must really like it, Alfin. There's so much astral energy. Some is flowing toward the outside, while the rest is heading further in. Is this part of the intended function of the mausoleums? Or a result of Nazamil seizing control? Come, 
Excited about Hoodle's picture than your own? Look at it! She drew him all round and floofy, just like real life! I'll have to let her know how much this means to me. some equipment. Let me take a look at it. Press on until we find the real Nazumi. I hope we're not hurting her by fighting the other. This one's tough, but we have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. No, can't end here. Don't get I can't do anything. I'll you. I'm just getting off my focus. Just to I'm not done yet! As you're I'll bring you back from death's abyss! Yes, this is it! Will this help? I'm late, you won't. No. Rinwell, are you ready? Of course! I won't let them use any more Astro Arts! Right. Leave the protection to me, and show them everything you've got. Damn it! Not again! Please! All this time, have these been Nazumio's pain screams? Don't hurt me! Orochi Fury! Enter storm! Orochi Fury! May a thousand games carry you to dread! Healing circle! Lightning nice! Now I can keep at it! I didn't heal you just so you can get hurt again. I know! I know! 
anything in the armor is all mine. Hey, Tracy, go! A banana, let's go! Oh, 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 Watch this! Deny! Mega Wave Raging Fury! Take this! Raging Flame! Raging Fury! Get on in there with the others! This one's all mine! Not today! Coming through! Ha! Now! Scarlet Inferno! Here's a healing heart! Raging Fury! In here! Hear me! Flame of Fury! Azure Storm! Will this help? Azure Storm! This feels wrong, even if it isn't the real Nasuki. If it... What Shion said is right. That may be Nazamil's mind inside them. It's not easy for us, but imagine how Nazami must be feeling. We've got to find her and talk her down. And fast. Isn't worried. I've been through worse. I blindly jumped off a cliff back when Lord Balsif's men were chasing me. Wait, really? What is with you two? It's freezing. There are more over here. Did Nazamil draw these too? This one's of Shion. The details are spot on. This is how Nazamil sees me? It's funny, I feel kind of embarrassed. I'll have to return the favor and draw her picture someday. I doubt I can do a good job, though. I'm sure that would make her happy. Let's hurry and find her. How would Nazimil still know to go to the Keystone, even while wearing a mask? I'm not sure. Perhaps it was an action pre-programmed into the mask, or perhaps... What? Perhaps her desire to eliminate all differences is somehow being strengthened by her current state. Yeah, 
Spirit on Rena? Exactly. Which must mean we're on the right path. I know this place controls all the mausoleums, but even so, it's massive. If we aren't careful, we could get lost.
mausoleums all over Rena, right? It seems that way. We suspect they were maintaining the planet's astral energy somehow. Wow, the Heldanquil civilization really was way ahead of us, wasn't it? I must admit, I'm rather proud of this dish. Are those more of Nas? They're here inside the Keystone. That may mean they were made around the same time as the mausoleums themselves. This place is like the tomb of some ancient tyrant. of us. She may have put them up to remind herself of why she chose her current path. Here's mine. It's a bit rough, but it has a warmth to it. Even more drawings. 
They're all over the place. She must have drawn and hung them up so she wouldn't feel so alone. I'm glad she drew me, but I'm honestly a little surprised. Why? Nazmia looks up to you quite a bit. It's true. She really captured your dignified inner kindness. Another one. To keep appearing wherever we go, they must be guarding vitally. Ignite! Uh, 
all think and feel exactly the same. Or, more accurately, don't think for themselves at all. Her dream is admirable, but this is no way to achieve it. for a while. I think we're getting closer to Nazamil. We've come all this way. I don't plan on us being the only ones coming back. Is that clear, everyone? Understood. <laughs> Something the matter, Rinwell? What Nazamil is doing is wrong, and we have to put a stop to it. I understand that, but she's been through so much pain and misery, and she doesn't want to go through that anymore. That's why she locked herself away in there, right? I just wonder, is this really the right way? Won't it be bad for her if we force her out of there against her will? I get your point, but... It's not like we're dragging her out of there. I know that, but still. Nazamil felt rejected by us. That's why she closed her heart. She's been rejected by others her entire life, and that's why she hoped we would accept her. I thought telling her that she's not alone would open up her heart again. Are... are you saying that's not enough? If we just accept her, and that's all we do, it will be the same as it was before, and she'll still be letting others control her life. Ultimately, she has to be the one to remove her own mask. We need to set her free. Even from us. Thanks, Renwa. I feel like what we have to do is clear now. There's no need to thank me. I just want this to be over with so we can be friends with her again. That's all. Supporting each other is not the same as being dependent on one another. Difficult, but true. Let's move on. We have to set Nazamil free. What's that sound? Is that a voice? It's Nazamil. She's crying out. We're almost there. I'm sorry, I'm scared. Please don't hate me. Please forgive me. Someone? Sorry. Anyone? Please notice me. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Please don't hate me. Someone? Someone? Anyone? Anyone? Please notice me. Please notice me. Please don't hate me. Nazamil. So she really is wearing the mask. 
Looks as though she's connected to the core of the Keystone. Nasamil, can you hear me? Nasamil! Nasamil, are you conscious? You are not the same. You are something that shouldn't be here. You don't recognize us? Nazamil! No differences may exist here. Everything must be the same. Listen to us! Who's talking? Nazamil or the Keystone? I don't know. Perhaps both. All differences must be erased. Once there are no differences, there will be... No hate. Not even a greeting this time, just straight to the fight! What do we do? Should we retreat? Same as before. Wear it down, keep reaching out to Nazamil. Stay clear of the Blazing Sword! Not in your dreams! 
They are a manifestation of the barrier around Nazamil's heart. So you're saying if we defeat them, we might be able to get through to Nazamil? Great! We can kill two birds with one stone! A blah blah blah! Back in. You're mine! Oh, not done! Uh, uh, they will pay for this! Uh, not today! Uh, Fury! Next! Here we go! Let's get you Take this! In here! Let's get you off this way! You're free! Wait! She just heal herself? Is she absorbing it? Regardless of the specifics, there's only one way to stop it. We have to find a way to cut her off from the source. Illuminate the door! Nothing Illuminate gets by me! Huh? Not today! Holy light! Illuminate the door! Lightning! Death 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 I don't hear the light! Anything in armor is all mine! Now you see what I can do on the wall now! Azure Storm! I never miss! Okay, now or never. Whoa! Azure Storm! Let it run! Run! Can't get out of this! Power is born! Here I come! Orochi's Fury! This one's the ball! Not today! Those times are too much! Over! Don't give up! You like me? The old one! Orochi's Fury! I can't handle it! Far enough! Enter storm! Here. Here. Damn it! Here. 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 Try harder! Enter storm! I can only... Back into the fray! Annihilation! Here I come! Annihilation! Back into the fray! Will this work out? I'm not done! It's time! I owe you can't get out of this! Can't be no! 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 Not today! Holy I feel like me if you try this! Explosive ring! Rain down in your Take this! A freezing storm! Hold nothing back! I let you all down! In here! Fury! storm! I'll bring you back from death to bed. Next! Severing wind! Coming through! Ha! Now! Scarlet Inferno! I'll bring you back from death to bed. Air thrust! 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 Here I come! Eagle Fire! Try this! Prepare to be healed! Take this! If it's in the sky, it's mine! Watch this! Shattering the Attack time! Next! Healing Storm! Let me help! Not today! Raising Fire! Raising Fury! Can't be in the sky! They're doing well. Just keep it up, everyone. We're almost there. Nasimil. Can you hear me? We don't want to hurt you anymore, but we also can't let you keep doing this. Azure Storm! Light after Raging Sleep now. Okay, here I go. Radiant Pierce! Now we're not. A freezing storm! You can't get out of this! I freaking done it! Aruna! Azure Storm! Illuminate the dark! Reset! Okay. Listen! Or 
Samil, can you hear me? You aren't alone. Wake up! No good. Long as she's wearing that mask, nothing we say can get through to her. All must be erased. Me. You. Everything. Don't do this, please! We're your friends and we want you here! Nasamil!
shield's gone! It's just that monster now! Uh, we were so close! She's replenishing her astral energy from the keystone. Then, is this whole thing hopeless? No. The moment before she was consumed, she woke up. Just for an instant, that monster is made of astral energy, just like the shadows. So, you're saying if we weaken it, then that means Nazemiel may wake up too. If we can wake Nazemiel, then there's still hope. Let's do it! Here. Luna Rongo! Eat this! First Come on, Mayuri! Oh, now! Luna Rongo! Inferno Punch! Yeah. Raise their sun! Yeah. Yeah. Inferno Punch! Inferno Punch! differences. That is how we enrich the world we live in. No further! This was all not! Not today! Luna Rongo! Tectonic Take this! Dance in the no way. further! 
each other's mistakes. Here 
Unleashing fury!
Now or never. No further. Ready. Far enough. We Ready. know you care about us, Nasumi. And now it's time for us to prove we care about you too. No matter how many people wear those masks, you're the only Nasumi. Our Nasumi. Stop all that talk about disappearing. Stay with us.
Nazemil's just come out of there. And this will all be over, Nazemil. yourselves! Let's end all this! Everyone, now! Yeah, for another chance at life! To bring forth a better world! With all the people we love! And being true to ourselves! We'll be together forever! The Free Heart! I want to live! Friends taught me something beautiful. That I can just be myself. There's nothing else that I have to be. I've never known such joy before.
I can think of no better day to begin anew. No one remembers their time in those masks. Luckily for us, that's how they work. Someday, this whole ordeal will have been entirely forgotten. Mm. But I won't forget it. How could I ever forget what I did here and tried to do? How are your injuries doing? What, from when you tickled us in the fight? We've been through worse than that. <laughs> Even if it hurt, our healers are top-notch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's the plan? Have any idea where you want to go? I guess I'll just go wherever I feel like. <laughs> when you get out there, I hope you won't be lonely, okay? If I stay with you and the others, I'm worried that... I'll keep on wanting to make you happy no matter what. <laughs> now I know that the happiness I need to commit to most of all is my own. That's easy to say, and I know it'll take some time. But someday I'll be ready to stand tall right alongside the rest of you. And on that day... We'll eat so much good food. We'll never be hungry again! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good call. Food tastes better with friends. <laughs> Yes. It's good. <laughs> Nasamil. <laughs> Maybe in this case, see you soon might be better. And off she goes. I wonder what she'll be like the next time we get to see her. She'll have changed. But we'll all be different as well. That said, in all the ways that matter, we'll still be us. Yeah. I'm sure you're right. <clears throat> all right then, bring it on! Oh yeah! Gotta step up my game in the meantime so I don't get left behind. Hey! What'd I do now? Boring! That's all the monologuing I could handle. Uh, come on, I wasn't monologuing! I was trying to explain my- uh, Hey! <laughs> oh, he's just marching off! You're a pain, you know that! Yeah, whatever. It appears that the future is looking bright indeed. <laughs> yes. It certainly does look sure, bright. <sighs> Come on, let's... Shion. Isn't there something you wanted to say to me? <laughs> you 
ready to listen now? <laughs>